Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your business to six figures and beyond. Pow! So you want to know why you're not winning contracts? I'm going to give you three reasons why the contracting officer is not reaching out to you. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about how the process actually gets started, step, step by step, and why you're not being found. Let's say in the beginning of the year, there is an agency, Department of Justice, and they're ready to spend money. So what happens is the Department of Justice will actually receive their funding and they may have 15 billion, 30 billion, let's say 30 billion for the year. They'll then look at what projects they want to assign for the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. And they'll look at the sense of urgency. The next thing will happen they'll trickle down to the contracting officers for this particular project. And then they'll actually give it to the contracting officer representatives. They'll send it out for cost analysis, statement of work, so on and so forth. Now, once they've gotten all of it and looking at what quarter they want, then they'll decide how they want to actually bid. Are they looking at doing a sole source? Are they looking at doing a micro purchase or a simplified acquisition procedure? Now, why are you not winning contracts? You've been in CAGE, you have your CAGE code, you've been in the SAM.gov, you've looked at all these opportunities. Why is it still not happening for you, but it might be happening for someone else? Well, these are three reasons why, and underneath the reasons why, I'll tell you. The first is you're not visible. They cannot find you. So if I'm looking at not wanting to actually do a bid solicitation, and I want to do a micro person, my, micro purchase or a simplified acquisition procedure, which simply means I'm looking to find you and actually work with you to see if you can do this bid. I can't find you. You're not in the DSBS, which is Dynamic Small Business Search Profile, or what you have for your keywords aren't actually bringing you up. So I'm looking, I have the money. I've already been allocated, allocated the money. I'm ready to spend money and for uniforms under the Department of Justice, and I can't find you. I may have something for transportation in the transportation industry, or logistics, or janitorial, or nursing. You're not there. I have $250,000 I'm looking at spending on a contract. I have my statement of work. It's already been approved. We've done the cost analysis, and I can put it out without having to do open competition, where I'm not looking for someone where they're filling out a bid. I want to skip that part because I need this done right away. And if, I, if I'm doing that, then guess what? I'm looking for you. I'm looking to award you this contract through Simplified Acquisition Procedure and I can't find you because you're not visible. You're not in any of the supply portals. You're not on any search. You're not coming up. Your, your profile and all your information on DSBS is not accurate. It's not up to date. So I can't find you. One, you're not visible anywhere. So if you're looking to do the middleman, the thing that works the best for the middleman You've got to be great at finding the contracts in order to sub it to someone else to do the work. That's your leverage. That's what your mm -hmm thing is, your wow. If you can't do the wow thing to get them to come to you for the middleman, then it's not going to work. The middleman only works if you're good at finding the bids. You're the prime contractor. You've got to be great at that. And maybe someone else is good at the work. So you're looking at them doing the work for you. But you have to be able to find the contracts and attract the contracting officers. So one, you're invisible. You're not visible. Two, you are not attractive. I'm not attracted to you for various reasons. One, like I talked about, one of the main reasons why I want a lot of micro purchases is because I accepted government credit cards. And I tell my students this all the time. You must have a merchant account that's different than a business account with your bank. You must have a merchant account. You have to and want to accept government credit cards. Boom, bam, bam. That's one of the main ways, ways they're able to pay you is through the credit cards accepting credit cards. Another thing is Gmail, Yahoo, generic emails, not attractive. If I go to your website and it, the link is broken on your DSBS that sends me to your website or your capability statement doesn't download or it looks old or antiquated, these are the reasons why you're not attractive. So you're not attractive to me, so I'm going to just pass you over. What I'm looking is doing a process of elimination. 
I'm adding out, I'm looking at what's going to eliminate you. And then I'll be set with people who have a great DSBS, their profile, their core competencies, their keywords all match. Capability statement is able to download. I click the link and I go to their website. Everything looks secure. The website's secure. Capability, the capability statement looks good. All the keywords match. That's what I'm looking for. And the third thing may be simply that when I reach out to you, you don't respond. Let's say your your information is antiquated, it's old, it's not updated. Your contact information is just not working. So you, there's no response. Another thing is you're not responding. So there's no response when I look for finding you with any uh, previous RFIs. I don't know you. I haven't built trust with you. Have you done any requests for information? Have you have you done any sources sought? Or yeah, have you done any sources sought? Um, have you done any source to sought? That's going to be a big way I'm looking for you. I did a whole video on how to answer source to sought. This is another main way. So three things. You're not visible. You're really not attractive. And I don't know if I can trust you. These are the things that are going to make me bypass you and go straight to someone else that matches all of these. That makes me say, mm, they are a perfect candidate for a simplified acquisition procedure where I just look at actually awarding them the contract with either by themselves or they're one of the three other companies that I'm narrowing it down. And I've seen this happen again and again and again, and it happened for me. So remember the process. Pot of money comes in. I decide which way I want to go for bidding or not bidding. Do a simplified acquisition procedure. Then I'm going to narrow it down to those three things I just mentioned. So where are you? Are you visible? Can I find you in the supply porter? Have you done an RFI? Have you done a source to sought? Does your website look attractive? Your CAPE statement, your capability briefing, your elevator pitch, does all that look good? Well, if the answer is no, then that's the reason why you're not winning any contracts. So let's make sure we're winning contracts so that we can make the middleman work we can make more money and we can have more fun in the process. Now, if you want to learn more, then I'd love to see you join me for my GovCon free lunch and learn every Wednesday. I'd love to see you this Wednesday. Click the link below and I'll make sure I see you soon. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.